Okay, so you can be a lifesaver and someone's hero. And the, the way that you, that you can do that is by giving another person is a, a second chance in life. And it would be a gift to a gift that anyone can give to another person in need. You may save up to eight lives through organ donation according to organ donor last year alone. Organ donors made more than 28,000 transplants possible. And you, um, you, might, and you might know somebody that is in need of an organ and you could possibly save their life. And as an organ donor, I strongly believe that it, that, that it is important because people are born with organ failures and or a genetic disease. And it is important to become a, a donor so that we can save lives. And our donation can make a difference and have a positive outcome in, in somebody's life. And first, I will talk about why why it is important to become a donor, who can, and then I'll talk about who can become a donor, and last, I will talk about how to become a donor. So, why is it important to to become a donor? There can be many reasons why why it is important to become a donor, and according to Statisticbrain.com, 112,706 people are on the on the waiting list to get a organ donated to them. Think about it, that's a lot of people whose lives are at risk and that probably won't get a second chance in life. And, and there are approximately 9,564 people waiting on kidneys, 16,067 um, waiting on a liver, 3,113 on a heart, and 1,657 on a lung, and 1,316 on pancreas. And these are the percentages of, of what I just said. And <coughs> you could donate internal organs and such as, <coughs> as you mentioned, the kidney, liver, heart, pancreas, and many more. But um, you, are, you are also able to donate eyes, bones, tissue, and skin. And I just explained why it's important to to be a donor, and now I'll talk about who can be a donor. So, according to Medline.com, there, there is no age limit to become a donor. If, if you are, um, if you have the, if you are willing to become a donor, then that's all. But if you are younger than 18, then you will need a parent to go with you to give you the consent to actually become a donor. And the medical condition, it doesn't get in the way of you actually having to donate because before an, an, an organ is actually donated, doctors will check to see if it's healthy enough to be given to somebody else. And if it's it's not it's not healthy, then it will be donated to science so that scientists can do um, studies on it. And these procedures are only done after after death. And now that now that you, you didn't know about who can become a donor, I'll talk about how can you become a donor. And according to examiner.com, there are four easy steps to become a donor. The first one is to talk to your family about being about thinking about you becoming a donor, and the second one is to register with your state or the DMV, and third, to state the decision to to become a donor on your on your license on your, or on your ID, and the fourth is to carry a, a donor card until you, you actually get your driver's license or your ID, and that's how you will have your driver's license. So, according to Nishon.com, donating is cost free, but it gives the, the it gives the gift of life. So, to to finish it up, I just explained how to become an organ donor, and it can be a big difference, and it can have a positive effect on a person's life, and it can all start by a donation. So I discussed on why it is important to become a donor, who can become a donor, and the four steps to become a donor. And imagine you being 
the reason why someone gets a second chance in life and they can continue on with their lives.